Hey there guys, GK here. This video is a response to Samuel Gray, who has requested help for a Tinker's Construct drawbridge door. Specifically, he wants a door that will open when you hit pressure plates on the inside of your base, and then close behind you automatically. But he also wants them to open when you hit a button, but then close behind him on the way through, and not be triggered again by the pressure plates. Like this in which case we actually use the pressure plates as the closing mechanism so open go through disregard the button and it closes on the way back in hit the button just carry on walking and voila safety done with a simple redstone circuit this is red alloy wire which uh, I use in place of the uh, red alloy conduits or red conduits whatever they use from Ender IO. Uh, the first thing it does when you hit the pressure plates, it triggers a pulse to this knot gate, which does what you expect. It also triggers a pulse to this knot gate, which is our timer. So this opens, and this activates the state cell, which then closes it. The other way around, it's just a direct pulse, but because this state cell is now turned off and this is not active, when we next hit the button it turns it on and locks the state cell so it's not actually going. So on, close and then obviously you're outside so you hit your button to open timer's not going, pressure plates close. So. Uh, obviously this is just a toggle latch. The state cell I've got set for three seconds. It's depending on how far you've got. Uh, yeah, it's about a second per block because you can just run through that. This is a knot gate. Uh, this state cell, while powered, will constantly output a signal, and the knot gate is necessary in order to stop it from pulsing all the time. And the pulse formula just exists to give us a single press, as you would have the button. So basically it translates this signal into a single pulse after four seconds. Like a repeater system that he had, but only on this side rather than coming from this side too. In effect, what Samuel had was basically the signal coming back around to here. And entering in there. Whoops. Entering in there. That's it. That was the problem. So, with this particular circuit removed, everything seems to be working nicely on my end. I don't know if it's working on Samuel's yet, but hopefully it will be when he sees this upload. Just like that. Hope you like it, Samuel. Thanks for watching.